Hi, this is Brian Lazar and welcome to your weekly Avalanche Outlook. We continue to see a gradual stabilization and an easing of avalanche danger as we continue in our dry spell. So in the absence of new snow loading, avalanche danger is going to continue to improve. You can see that right now we've got a good chunk of the state sitting at low danger or generally safe avalanche conditions. We are hanging on to some areas of moderate danger in portions of the Front Range, the Vale Summit County, and the Northern Sawat Zone, and we'll show them why just in a minute. If we take a look at avalanche activity across the state since our last cycle on January 6th, which is, coincides with our last snowfall event, you can see this uh, gradually tapering off avalanche activity across the state, which has allowed us to go to low danger in a good portion of it. However, if you look at avalanche activity across the state over about the last 10 days, you can see on this left panel that most of the avalanche activity has been concentrated in the southern portion of the Front Range Zone, the eastern portions of the Vale Summit County Zone, the Aspen Zone, and right in the northern Sawat Zone. So that's the left-hand side of this graphic. Over on the right-hand side, we're looking at a map of snow water equivalent on the ground or how much water is contained in the snowpack compared to long-term median. And then you can look in this area outlined in red here, which coincides with um, areas that are near long-term average. These are our shallower and thinner spot snowpacks in the state. And so you can see this red outlined area is closely matching where we're seeing most of our recent avalanche activity. It is true that we have a uh, very low snowpack in the Sangre de Cristo range, but that still remains at low danger simply because there's not enough snow to create much of an avalanche concern. So as we move forward into this weekend, we do get a return of a little bit of snow. We have a pretty quick hitting system that comes through late on Thursday adds generally around two to five inches of snow across the state of Colorado through Friday night. So we can see, we can expect a, perhaps a small uptick in avalanche concerns rated to the new snow uh, that comes in on Friday night and then into Saturday, but that should be fairly short-lived. And then we'll ease back into essentially the same moderate danger areas in that uh, Northeast portion of our mountains remaining at moderate. Most of the places are going to sit near low until we get substantial snowfall to return, which doesn't look like that's going to happen until the end of January. So for right now, uh, most slopes are safe from avalanches in those places with low danger. The places where you're most likely to trigger sides are steep slopes that face north and easterly near and above tree line. Thinner areas are areas where you're more likely to trigger avalanches, as we've seen in the avalanche activity that's taken place over the last week. Um, so these include areas that are heavily wind affected where the snowpack goes from very deep to very shallow over short distances, convex rollovers, areas near ridgeline and steep rocky terrain. If you can avoid those areas, you can greatly reduce your chance of triggering an avalanche. Um, please stay tuned uh, for changing conditions as this little storm system moves through Thursday and Friday night. Get your current avalanche forecast at colorado.gov slash avalanche and enjoy. We'll see you next week.